Psalm 107, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Someone say, God is good. A preacher once said, God is good, it's not by faith. If I tell you that God is good, I'm not telling you by faith. When you look at your life, ladies and gentlemen, you have enough testimony. That even the devil will agree with you that God is good. Tell your neighbor, God is good to me. If you can't praise God, I diagnose you with a spiritual symptom of pride. And demonic inflammatory disease of haughtiness. Some people look at themselves as the best thing that has happened to God. God, I just came to grace your presence. <laughs> like, they, they feel like, God, I'm, I'm doing you a favor by showing up this morning. <laughs> if God forgot to wake you up, you, you, you will be gone. Is, is that how we say it in America? You, you, you'll be gone. You'll be... <laughs> You belong down. I discovered that it takes nothing for a man to be forgotten. I'm not, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you something that I have not experienced. When a man is telling you, I still remember when my dad passed. All the people that said, Oh, Reverend Christian, Reverend Christian, you're a good man. Reverend, oh. It was the day they buried him that I saw many of them last. People will eat rice, eat some rolls, eat chicken, drink a few soda, sing some consolatory speech. Immediately they leave there. You're gone. You're forgotten. If God did not save you, no man can save you. So don't look at the facial expression of anybody to give God praise. Somebody go crazy if these others are giving praise. He that redeemed you from the enemy. Somebody give him the craziest praise. You can never give him your mind. Sing that. Verse 2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you have been redeemed by the Lord, you need to say it. Your confession of praise is an evidence that you have been redeemed. A man that knows what God has done for him or her will not be afraid to affirm. So when we praise God, we affirm what he has done in our life. God likes to hear your praise. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you know, I'm not just an emotional person. There's something fundamentally wrong with your emotions. We need to check your thalamus. <laughs> Science people, you know what I'm talking about. We need to check you. Even a baby that does not cry when they come out from the womb, they're going to slap their butt. God can slap your butt if you refuse to praise him. You are, not, are you hearing what I'm saying tonight? You all ain't hearing me. No, sis, am I, are you, do you agree with me? When God bless you with a good house, bless you with a good car, you can drive by yourself, you can feed yourself. Am I speaking to somebody? Only he deserves the glory. You can think for yourself. Nobody needs to help you. You Lift your hand and give them another shout of praise. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he had redeemed. Psalm 107 verse 2. Whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. 
if not for the Lord, the enemy would have swallowed us up quick. A lot of people have been looking at you, wondering, let us see what will happen to you. But the more they wait, the more God show you off. Am I speaking to somebody? The more they wait for you, the more God is blessing you. Tell you the more he keeps blessing me. He, ma, na, 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 ma, ma, yata. No wonder daddy says since I was young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now he seed beg for bread. You may be broke, but you ain't begging. Am I speaking to somebody? You may be broke, but you ain't stealing. God is your child. God is your provider. God is your helper. Somebody said hallelujah. But let the redeemed of the Lord say so. To confirm that God loves praise and praise us, this event that happened in Luke 19 was a confirmation of Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. Zechariah prophesied it already, what we saw in the triumphant entry. Zechariah 9 verse 9, please help me. The Bible says rejoice greatly. Someone say rejoice greatly talking about joy. God loves it when people are joyful. You come to the show, people say, you know, it's just an African. An African. It's not an African. It's a God thing. The last time I checked, rejoice has no African attached to it. In Africa, we didn't have no keyboard. It came from here. Why are you people looking at me like you didn't believe me? <laughs> We learned how to use all these things here. So how come the people that own it stop using it? Whenever you stop praising God, you become irrelevant. That's why he said, if you stop them, I raise up these stones, we cry. That stones is people that don't, people that don't even know anything. People that seem like they, don't, they can't think. People that don't know value of stuff will cry out. Look at that scripture. It said, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, the king cometh. Someone said, The king cometh. The king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon what? An ass. Talking about a donkey. Keep going. And upon a coat. Was Jesus riding on the coat? Yes. And the fowl of an ass. Speaking prophetically. So Zechariah prophesied Jesus marching into Jerusalem as the king. When you praise God, he takes his throne as king. In your life, when things are going crazy, praise God, the king takes his place. Stop, stop complaining about not having money. Praise God about the financial situation. The king takes his place. When your marriage ain't working, praise him, the king takes Someone tell your neighbor, the king is about to take his place. This is the first time Jesus ever publicly affirmed himself as Messiah and Lord. Publicly, whether to believers and non-believers. Before now, if he did it, he did it subtly, he did it to disciples, he did it privately, but this is the first time. This tells me that anytime it comes to praise, God does not have any regulations that stops it. Nothing should stop your praise. In the market in HEB, if, you're, you're, if they told you that this thing was $50 and when they swiped it, it became $10, don't be asking them how it became $10 out in praise because God just gave you a spiritual discount somebody give God praise all over the south you guys are going to run me over I, I blame you if we go over time I blame you you know many times people like to explain I don't explain breakthrough if I didn't do it God did it so whoever did it should give, deserve the praise. If God bless you, go ahead and give him the praise. The last time I checked, the devil does not bless any man. Only 
see God blesses a man all good and perfect gifts come from above the father of light of whom there is no shadow upon it neither any variable somebody jump on your feet and give him praise So that when you are eating that turkey, don't eat and forget yourself. You take a bite, you break up. Hi, Adam. Is somebody hearing me? You have a whole turkey. You. You know where we came from? Y'all don't be acting cute. Where we came from? Many of us get the legs of the turkey. Oh, you're in Kiga, you're feeling me. Now, many of you have become so Americanized. We that were last borns, me and Emmanuel, we get the feet. How many of you ate the feet? Americans don't eat the feet. That is how far God has moved you. He moved you from the tail to the head. Somebody go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. We ate the feet. Sit down, sit down. See, my American brothers here, they, they don't know what we're saying. Say, you eat the feet, we ate the feet. The feet. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no meat, ain't no substance in the feet. Sister Mary, your pastor got the feet. And I praise God that I even got the feet. Some people got nothing. You remember most of our bad days? Our parents couldn't afford a cake. They used rice. Oh, I, I, I got to quit. I got to quit. Rice was the cake. And some crackers. Called cabin biscuits. And they borrowed some neighbor's children. And they told the children to pose around. With one bottle of Fanta and one bottle of Coke. With your big belly, no clothes. Not knowing that God does deliver you from Kwashako. God, tell your neighbor, God has been. So when you see me dance, you see me praise him. You can't judge me by my dance. Because if you don't know my story, you can't appreciate my glory. God, tell your neighbor, God has been too good, too good, too good. We are going to flow this service into third service. This is the only preaching you are going to get in these two services. Go flow it like that. Just stay with me. Wherever I end, I end. Veterans, you take it from here. Sit down. Sit down. This is the first time Jesus ever showed up publicly. And because he deserved the praise. Only God deserves the praise. You don't deserve nothing. The moment you begin to think you deserve it, you're walking in pride. you to be telling the hostess you can't put me in this seat do you know who I am who are you who truly are you you're nothing we're just clay in the hands of the poor and so when he wanted the praise marching towards Jerusalem he had some very important points that he wants us to pay attention to. Are you ready for this? Number one, I discovered that God loves intentional yes. praise. Tell you about God loves intentional praise. Yes. Many times when we come to church, we give God absent minded praise. Well, like a person that's saying, God, if you like, take it. If you like, don't take it. Don't do that. Don't do that. David said, I will come to his gates with thanksgiving and his cause will praise. 
I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will come with rejoicing, with tambourines. There's some intention in the prayer. So when Jesus wanted to be honored, he said, first of all, he said it, go look for a donkey that nobody had ever ridden. Of course. That tells me that God doesn't like to share a praise that you've given to somebody else. The praise God demands from his people are praise not like the compliments you've ever given to a man. So if at any time you've said some sweet things to your wife and you can't say better to God, God don't care about that. Where you propose to your wife, you sure were emotional. If not, she ain't, she won't take that ring. Did you just say, take? <laughs> I hope you did not. Because if it was my wife, she would tell you, take back. <laughs> Is somebody hearing me? When many of us come to church, the way we behave, we behave like, if you like, take. If you like, don't take. There's no intention. There's no orchestration. There's, even if you want to prepare a meal, don't you prepare to make the meal? So when you're coming to the house of God, don't just let the song just go. And I used an example in the first service. There's a way you could sing a song, and the song will make many. And they say, when you sing a song, the person will just say, please just stop. Spare me the horror. <laughs> Many times when we praise God, we give God what is left over. We give God something that is weak. They look for a donkey that has never been ridden before. God loves new things. Do you ever discover that each time you wear a new dress, your walking style changes? Anybody agree with me? If not, we need to check you on different behavioral levels. When you drive a new car, even your confidence, right, rises. When you give God a new praise, his confidence rises. Say, so go get a donkey that nobody has ever ridden. And when they ask you, who is it that sent you? Tell them. The Lord. So for the very first time, he affirmed himself as Lord. So when it comes to praise, God doesn't shy away from who he is. Because he is enthroned on our praise. Your praise is like a throne seat. Look at who he sent. He didn't just send anybody. He also sent what? Disciples. Disciples that will follow his instructions. When I say praise is the mandate of the redeemed. For people that have walked with God and know who God is. Those are the people that God seriously demands praise from. God will not demand praise from somebody who doesn't know him. It is you that he died for. You that he paid the price for. Then you walk into his presence and you are acting too good for him. Excuse me, he's going to begin to ask himself, did I make a mistake for dying for you? He asks disciples. And go look, the disciples that praised him, the disciples did not change anything he told them. The disciples went specifically to the exact place he asked them, and they found the cult. And it, when the man asked him, who, who asked you to untie it? He said, the Lord needs it. We as believers must be willing to give God praise, even in the face of criticism, in the face of challenge, and when people question us, why do you praise him? Tell him, the Lord needs it. Tell your neighbor, the Lord needs it. Listen, gentlemen, you are not hearing me tell you about the Lord. The Lord needs it. If somebody asks you in HEB, why are you dancing? Don't tell them I just feel like dancing. Tell them the Lord. Tell you about the Lord need it. The Lord needs it. The Lord needs it. Excuse me. If you say the Lord needs it, think about it. Not the Lord likes it. 
and that the Lord wants it. God needs praise. Praise is the only thing you can give to God that God cannot give to himself. You are not hearing what I'm saying tonight. Praise is the only thing you can give to a great God who has given you everything because he commanded and they were created. Somebody wave your hand and give me praise all over the place. Number two points, it takes boldness to praise God. Tell anybody, it takes boldness to praise God. I, 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 when I look at that story, I'm almost tempted to believe that they would have charged those disciples for stealing. Yeah. Excuse me. The last time I checked, you cannot take something than yours. Than yours. But let me tell you, anytime you need something to praise God, ooh, God would always release you and give that thing to you. Now, 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 so we say, Pastor, give me a scripture. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he even makes even the enemies to be what? At peace with him. For the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. He moves it what? Like the course of the waters. To whosoever pleased him. Any, have you not noticed that even no matter how tough it is, if some religions, and I don't want to mention it, tell the attendants for those that work in the hospital that we are going to go pray on Friday, I have never seen an attending or a job owner that tells them, no. But we that are the redeemed, we are afraid to tell people that we are going to go worship God. Ladies and gentlemen, if they will not release you to go worship God, quit that job. I promise you, nobody will take that which God has given to you. It takes boldness. They were bold. So think about it. When Jesus told them, go tell him that the master needed, did you see? The person did not argue. Many of us are so afraid of the opinions of people. That is why you don't praise God. If you do that, you will be limited by the opinions of people. The reason why some people have not moved forward is because they always care what people think. In praising God, don't care what anybody thinks. Praise like a crazy man. David danced like a crazy man. Even his garment was almost coming out. Anybody agree with me? And there was the wife who was the daughter of Saul. I said, why are you, why are you dancing before the, the Lord? He said, why would I not dance before the Lord? The Lord that chose me before your father. That statement before your father came from David. Your father. Because God, whenever you praise God, God raised you above somebody else. Only praises are lifted. Does that not remind you when the word of God says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Somebody as you praise God, may the Lord lift you up even more. Come on, I said he will lift you up even more. I said he will lift you up even more. If you believe it, shout amen. Yes. It takes boldness. Number three, it takes sacrifice. Someone say it takes sacrifice. Say it again, it takes sacrifice. A lot of people like to praise God, but they don't like to let anything come out from them. Your praise is not complete without a sacrifice. Go look even in the scriptures. When they come for worship, they don't just worship and say, oh Lord, everybody comes with something. They come with a certain animal. They come with something to sacrifice. Something must come out of you to let God know that you honor him more than the substance. Some of us sometimes hold our substance is too there. I've seen in churches, immediately you start talking about money. People check out. You know what they say, check out? Their bodies in the service, but their spirit is gone. Time it's time for Titan offering. Oh, Jesus. They start thinking about somebody else. Just imagine when you need God the most and he checked out. Truly, what do you have that you have not been given? The disciples, when they got the, the coat, the first thing the scripture says is that they took their garment off and placed it on the coat. They took out their covering. 
you must be able to value God that whatever gives you status doesn't matter anymore in the face of praise. You know what stops some people from praising God? Their degrees. I'm a PhD. PhD of geophysics. Electron microscopy. The last time I checked, I've never seen proton, neutron, benzene, lysine. You all don't know what I'm talking about. David as king. He is the greatest king that ever lived. No king has been able to surpass him. Put his garment. And you, with your 1964 outdated degree. Yes, I said it. Because the moment you attain your degree, somebody is going to research on what you researched on. The last time you check is a research. Research, you were not the first that searched it. You are only researching what God has. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, whatever degree you have, you worked on what God has already done. The Bible says, whatever God has done is forever. No man can add to it. No man can take away from it. For God does these things that men may fail. Somebody give God praise all over the earth. they attend that status they come to church they begin to pose let me tell you there is nothing that you have that God has not given to you real men worship Jesus go look at great men when I'm talking about great men great men worship the Lord I've seen men in my life. The few times I've seen men in my life. Men that have done things. At the very time of worshiping God, they're on the floor. You have not achieved anything. God is still here to do more for you. When you worship him, he allows the earth to yield this increase. When you stop worshiping him, he closes the heavens over your life. They opened their garment, made it comfortable for him. And they lifted him on the court. Sometimes when we come to church, our songs don't even move God. Talk less of lifting. Your praise must not only move him, your praise should lift him. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Your praise should be enough for him to ride on it. And that's what the disciples did. They, they were selfless. In your, in your, anytime you come to church, be selfless. Forget wh whatever you could not accomplish before you came. While you were here, you're worrying about it will not accomplish it. You want as well give it to the man that has the ability to make it happen. So they lifted him up and they praised him. And go look at what happened. Immediately they did that and Jesus started to ride on the donkey. All the people in Israel pulled their garments and they laid it on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the best example of anybody that is going to praise God, it is the way they see you praise him that they will praise him. If you don't know how to praise God and you don't show that sacrificial example, your children will not praise. Your coursework members or your classmates will not praise. Your co-workers will not praise God. Your neighbors will not praise God. Those around you will not. So it is because the disciples did that that made the rest of the people to lay their garment on the floor. Do you know your praise can stimulate more praise? Yeah. Oh, you are not hearing me. Yeah. Go to the concerts, to the people that dance, to Mary J. Blige, to Beyonce. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen any of them, and they are not praising God. They are not praising God. Whatever they are doing, they come and they perform. They even come with so-called dancers. And people are screaming for someone who did not save their soul. We, that somebody thought you were worth dying for. I still remember then when I was growing up. I saw people just pulling their shirt. Oh, I'm going to faint for Michael Jackson. <laughs> Do I remember? Heal the world. Make it a better place. 
People, oh, we're going. Many of us have come to church. You say, why, why are they singing like that? Instead of you to, you yourself, you can, your worship can change the atmosphere. Who shall that by Stop waiting for the choir. If the choir will regulate your praise, they can regulate your breakthrough. Wherever you are, you praise God in your own way. You lift him up in your own way. You dance for him. You worship for him. You lift him up. Somebody lift Jesus high. Take sacrifice. Take sacrifice. You come with your offerings. You come with your tithe. Don't ever appear before the Lord empty handed. There must be something that will come out of you. Yes. Because God is a blesser. I tell you about God is a blesser. <laughs> Number four. With this I close. I discovered that when they praised God, it was not done in solemnity. Praise is never quiet. They said I should preach. <laughs> Luke 19.39. Luke 19.39. Everybody. Luke 19.39. Luke 19.39. Just before you go there, just look at uh, uh, 37. Let's go to 37. 37. 37. When he came near to the place... The road that goes down to olives. The crowd of the disciples began joyfully to do what? What did they do? They began to rejoice and praise God. With what? With a loud what? Voice. That tells me and you that praise must be loud. Praise must be vocalized. Praise must be verbalized. Worship, you may not. But praise, you need to. The last time I went for a PTA conference with the, teach the teachers of my children, one of the things they emphasize on children is you must learn to use your what? Your words. Use your words. Many of us are so quick to complain about what is wrong. Than to praise God for what he's done right. Haven't you even noticed that even when they want to criticize your work at work. Your boss or your supervisor wants to tell you you didn't do well. They don't just say you. Sir. You're wrong. You didn't do this well. Except in some country somewhere. <laughs> but in this country. They will first of all tell you. Oh. The way you handled it, oh, wonderful. However, you, anybody understand what I'm saying? How, however, there are two tricks. What are just generally telling you, sir? You bombed this thing. <laughs> Even when you fail an exam and you fail some questions, they won't tell you you failed it. To say you, there are just a couple of concepts that you got wrong. Uh -uh. <laughs> Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? A couple of concepts. A couple of concepts. What does it mean is you have failed this exam. However, we're going to try to re-look at some of these things. And they will take their time to tell you. They will ask you the question again and expect that you give them a response. Because the response shows that you got it. When you praise God, he knows you got it. When you don't praise God, and you're just saying, yeah, you're just singing the song, you're just nodding your head. Just nodding your head. Mm, a couple of music. Sometimes the angel is wondering, is he okay? Is he not okay? Michael will come and say, let's check his temperature. I don't know, because last... Yesterday, you blessed him with a $2,500 check. That should make him praise God. He said, yeah, I don't know whether he has seen it. He said, yes, I saw it. He saw it. I was the one that took him. I escorted him to the mailbox. So many times, do you know, when you don't vocalize it, you confuse God. Because he delights. In our, have you ever done something good for someone and the person did not acknowledge it? 
what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Excuse me. Anybody knows? This is an interactive preaching now. The first thing that comes to your mind is, I'm not sure whether you got it. Anybody agree with me? And maybe that was, you, you really spent a lot of money and a lot of thought. And you are not sure whether the person got it. But if you are sure the person got it, and they didn't say thank you, or did they acknowledge it, then something goes on in your mind. This person is very ungrateful. So the next time they have a celebration, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to act like I don't know you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't ask for anything if you didn't praise him for the last one. They praise him with a loud voice. Somebody say with a loud voice. When I give you the next few minutes to dance, I want you to dance like your life depends on it. I want you to dance intentionally. If I give him a dance step of 2020 before he gets there. <laughs> Tell you about God loves new praise, new praise, new praise. Dance before him. Celebrate him. Don't give him your Texas two steps that was formed in 1978. No, don't do that. Give him a praise that he has never seen before. Let God look into San Antonio and say, I'm coming into better covenant assembly of God. I love the praise of the people. For God is enthroned in the praises of his people. Sit down, I'm about to wrap this up. The next few minutes, the next thing, the Bible says, when the Pharisees saw the praise, they said, Jesus, how do you like these people to just be dancing? I'm, no, 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 no. You need to stop them. Some people come to church as Pharisees. They are too spiritual to praise. Let me tell you, the highest level of unspirituality is praiselessness. You say, Pastor, how do you know? The moment Satan refused to praise God, right? God kicked him out. So if you have the spirit of the devil, you will not praise God. Because nobody can declare that Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit of God. Pharisees came. Don't stop them. You know what Jesus just looked at them like, what are you talking about? If we stop these people, right? Say the stones will cry out. What he basically was saying was, leave them alone. Let them keep praising me. There's something that God will never stop a man from doing. Is praising him. God will never stop a man that praises him. God will never stop a man that honors him. God will never stop a man that celebrates him. In fact, if you are the worst sinner, the moment you begin to praise God as God is an expression of faith. For the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please him. For any man that cometh to him, Hebrews 11 verse 6, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You cannot praise him if you don't believe he's a rewarder. So today, what is my charge for you? Don't let any stone don't let anybody that God has not redeemed. Don't let another thief that is at the, on the right side on the cross that has seen all his life, that has no value for life, take your place in praising a God that you've been serving for 30 plus years. God has been good to you. He has been kind to you. Don't let no stone praise him. Tell your neighbor, no stone is going to praise him. On my behalf, rise up to your feet. Wherever you are in this building, lift up your voice and praise Praise the Lord. Go ahead and give him the glory. Go ahead and give him the honor. Go ahead and give him the adoration. Go ahead and give him the worship. Only him is that praise. Come on, somebody. Only him. 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 Come on, somebody. If you want to sing a new song, sing a new song. I give you three minutes. Bless him. 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 I need the praise and worship team. I need the choir. Come on. We are going to praise God. Come on. Anana Moshe. Kelebra Yata. Sada Diana Baba. Ripro Kosia. Shekelebra Ramos. Ripre Ketelia. Bless him. Somebody. Anybody grateful? Anybody thankful? Anybody grateful? Anybody thankful? Remember all that he has done for you. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Give him new praise. Give him new praise. Give him new praise. New praise. Somebody praise. If you can wait to him, wait. If you can dance, dance. Come on, come on, come on. Bless 
Jesus' name. Ananana Mashaya.